You know what really grinds my gears? Just clap, please. <laughs> I'll tell you after. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to This Is My Bourbon Podcast. I am your host, Perry, and with me, it's the Whiskey Mutant Eric himself. Go Bills! Man. They, they, I was about to say they eked it out last night, but they did not. They handily defeated the Dolphins. Let me tell you. That's a rare occasion where I'm not sweating <laughs> and pacing throughout the whole game. Once we got the lead... Um, I was chilling. I love a comfortable game every once in a while. And now, since they played on Thursday, they don't play again to, for like almost two weeks because they'll do like a Sunday game. I can relax and just enjoy other football games. That's and not nice. Be stressed. It's nice. Because tomorrow, I'm going to watch Kentucky play Georgia. Definitely not stressed about that because <laughs> we're going to get lose. our asses beat. <laughs> Shellac. So I'm going to get to watch a real football <laughs> team tomorrow in person. Um, yeah, so, that's true. You get to see the number one team in the nation. Yeah, play tomorrow. That's Probably, good. I'm going to go a little bit early. Maybe make my rounds, find some people, um, tailgating a little bit, see what's happening. You going to be down there? Do I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might. You need to tell me where to go. I know a few people, but you always have people down there. I do. Yeah, yeah. You could uh, you could go see uh, <laughs> see my family and and that clan. Yeah. That would actually be really fun for you to go and. Uh, what if I went full blown bills and I like jumped on the table and broke it. So, um, would that be okay? If I squirted your dad, I've, I filled him with like... You went, um, what's his name? Mustard and ketchup. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All over him. Shoot, what's his name? Why can't I think of it? Come on. Now I'm under pressure and I can't think of Come it. Come on. No, I'm not going to be able to think of it because you're you're stressing me out. Well... Something Dawn. Not in the Sheeta. No. <laughs> well, if you want to find out who I got it is, go to patreon.com slash my burden podcast for as little as a dollar a month. You can support the show. But at five dollars, you get all the bonus content. Um, had a great pregame chat. It's a little therapy session for the boys. Um, did a little pop chick a wow wow. No, we didn't. Wait, take that back. We did that the other day. Uh, we did pours from the floor this week, um, but sometimes we do Pop Chicka Wawa where we open a brand new bottle, talk about it, maybe say a little a little steamy review on it. Um, we do uh, Sampler Irresistible. Tons of bonus stuff over on the Patreon. So go like there. Tips and bits before, too. We do tips and bits on this show, um, which if you wanted to listen to this uncut, that's also part of the Patreon. So go over there. Support the show a dollar, but five dollars, it's it's just the best. It's it's the best thing you can do. Helps us and helps you. Gives you stuff to listen to several days in a row. Not Don Prawn. Oh, you're getting close. How? How? I'm just playing. I'm just <laughs> Ron Howard. I'm just <laughs> the <messing>. director? <laughs> I'm just messing with you now. Come on. You got this. Come on, Perry. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Come on, Perry. He's got a funny little nickname. I know. His name's not even Ron. Come on. I'm trying. Part of it is Ron. You're right. I know. That's what I'm saying. I can't get I can't get the first part. If you can timestamp this in a comment, somebody listening. I don't know if this is going to be on Patreon. It's probably going to be Patreon only. I mean, there's going to be a bunch that will be cut out. But if you're on Patreon, you're listening to the uncut episode, and you can timestamp when you s scream the name of the Bills fan who started the mustard ketchup thing and somehow prove it, I'll send you a glass before Perry figures it out. You can't Google. You got to be honest. Somehow prove it to me. I don't even, I don't know how you do I that. I keep wanting to say Teflon, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> Let me give you a hint. Yes. He has a food item in his name. It's not Burger Ron. No. I think smaller. Think a side. <laughs> pickle, pickle Ron. <laughs> pickle. I'm <laughs> Pickle Ron, Morty. <laughs> pickle Ron. <laughs> um, 
I could give you one hint, but you'll get it instantly. If, we probably need to move on. We probably do need to move they on. They named a car for this. Pinto Ron! Yeah! <laughs> Patreon, if you could, s- <laughs> <laughs> if you could somehow prove that you beat Perry to answering that, I will send you a glass. You have to like, well, however you want to do it, you have to convince me that you said Pinto Rom before Perry did. <laughs> the off screen screen. If I wasn't under pressure, I would have been able to get to it quicker. <laughs> Pinto Ron, America's oh. sweetheart. The beautiful boy himself getting bukkakied by mustard and ketchup. <laughs> My hero. If I wasn't under pressure. You kept... Oh. <sighs> Hurry, the kids are coming. We got to finish this up really fast. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm under pressure. I can't perform. Oh, God bless. We normally kick off episodes with Flying Blind. Oh. I'm where uh, we blind each other with a pour. <sighs> this week we've got two. <laughs> I think. I don't know. You're in charge of this. Yeah, I know. I'm between either a either a double pour or a single. I, you know what? We're doing two. After that, I need a couple. Turn your head. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell between the two of us. Who's having more of a mental health episode <laughs> at the moment? You know what I mean? I think I think it's me. I want to say it's me. I think I'll, I'll let mine out on the, the Patreon. Yeah, I think... Well, I think mine's continuing from the Patreon. <laughs> I'm just crying over here. Yeah. Laughter tears. All right. Turn your head and cough. <clears throat> You're back. Okay. We're back. I poured heavy. I'm sorry. Well, I'll set it to the side and sip on it later. Hey, at and calling me for work. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Decisively, they are not. Did you, you pay your bill? You even have AT and T? No, I have Verizon. Oh, <laughs> like AT and T. It was like, work. It was. You haven't paid your bill. It was my work line. No. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Back to the bourbon, whiskey, whatever this is. <laughs> the blind Should pours. Try one. Left to right. Left to right. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Smells interesting, right? <laughs> That's why I said okay. <laughs> it's right, you little piss baby. <laughs> you getting mad. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the situation. Call me a piss baby. I'm only pissed, baby, when I got heartburn. Do you? Not yet. I okay. will later. Fair enough. Okay. This smells weird, but I kind of like it. Does it does smell a little weird. You're I right. Like it. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. It. yeah. It almost reminds me of just kind of like a. If Gushers had like. Like a spice on it? Okay. Like a spicy gusher? Okay. Does that make sense? No, but I'm going to go with you it. You know, like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some no, kind of like candy, like a gummy candy with spice? I'm still saying, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying what Cheers. happens. It kind of tastes like that. It does kind of be right. It tastes like a spicy gusher. A spicy gummy worm? Why does this taste like a spicy gusher? I don't know. But do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I do, which is weird because... Well, I don't want to get too deep into this because I, you, you don't even know anything about this yet. This is good, though. I love the palate on this. It's Nose is weird. Phenomenal. Nose is weird when you actually say it out loud, like, this smells like a gummy or a gusher with spice on it. And then when you taste it, I like it. I don't think it's high proof. I think it's maybe one to one ten. Doesn't taste very old. So so proof one to one ten. Age probably four to six, if that. So okay. Do these 
have anything to do with each other? Or mm-hmm. the, okay. All right. Ooh, now that nose smells more approachable. Yeah. That smells more like a, you know, a bourbon, maybe a, a high rye bourbon. Maybe. I don't think it's weeded. This one, I, I don't know why. Immediately I was relaxed by it, and immediately I felt like I was in a log cabin. Oh, it smells like um, pancakes, kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is that It was way. a relaxing smell. Yeah. Oh, that is, that's a relaxing palate, too. It was so relaxing, it gave you a lisp. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Very relaxing. Um, butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> it gave you a lisp where that you wouldn't normally have one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it it's very buttery. It tastes low proof, maybe like ninety five proof. It maybe tastes a little older. It's a little thicker. It's buttery. It's if it smells like pancakes, you're drinking the maple and butter on the palate. Yeah, I don't know what these have to do with each other. Fair enough. But I mean, they, they're a lot more different than I was anticipating them being because I've not had these side by side before. <sighs> this one. It's really friggin' good, man. It's so, maple pancakes and butter. So here's the deal. Okay, I mean, uh, I can't do it. I can't even figure it out. A lisp. One of these is discontinued. One of these is. If it's the maple butter one, I'm going to be pissed. Which one do you think? is currently on the market between the two. The first one. You think the first one is currently on the market? I feel like I feel like this When you say discontinued it makes me think that it's like maybe a little older. Maybe they any anything I feel like over the that was made over the past couple of years they stopped making it probably had some maybe some older stuff, maybe it was a little bit more I don't know. I feel like the new one is some kind of version that they tried to recreate of this one. They made two different animals. This one is interesting. The first one is interesting, fun, and good. The, the second one is like, why did you discontinue this? I want to keep drinking this. It sucks. If that's the discontinued one, I'm going to be pissed. You were right about everything on the first pour. Except for the fact that it was not discontinue. So so the first, first one, one is discontinue. discontinue. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I still have a chance on the second one. First one is Jim Beam Distiller's cut. Really? Yeah. I don't even know if I've Was this in a different bottle? No. Oh. That's the only bottle that it's ever been in. Then I don't um, know if I've ever had this one. 5 to 6 years old. Okay, so 100 so. proof. 101 too. <laughs> Non-chill filtered. Um, it was only available in like 2020, 2020 to 2021. I have to watch on there. Um, I did a little bit of hunting on Saturday. Um, I was out running some errands. I was getting some stuff for, uh, the, for the house, for the baby together. And, uh, ran into a store found a bottle of Jack Daniel's rye with day after, but still very, very close to Eden's birthday as the dump date. Um, So I was like, I'm getting that. Um, And then ran into another store and they had on their shelf six bottles of Jim Beam Distiller's Cut. I bought two. Spicy Gushers. I have not been able to find this anywhere in years. Okay. Um, because it's been discontinued. Yeah. This was one of my favorite pours from 2020. And I think it was even something that I like probably didn't put in my top 10 of 2020, but was such a great limited release 
uh, just a phenomenal bottle. I mean, that's right. It's weird, but I like it. Yeah. Yeah. So, second glass. Yes. What is this? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Is a single Another barrel. Another Jim Beam. But it's Jim Beam single barrel at 108 proof. Have you had this? At some point, I've had a Jim Beam single barrel. But do you remember when it was not in this bottle? And it was like... It was in a different It bottle, was in right? like a kind of triangular shape. Yeah, did bottle it have a badge and, on it or something? No, I like, think I so, like, maybe? Like a little ribbon on it? Yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was like the newer well, this edition sucks. of... <laughs> what do you mean? Because it's a single barrel. Well, yeah, I mean, I can tell you where I got this from. and You can go okay. probably get the same one. It's not too far from you. This is delicious. It's a really good single barrel. And I just cracked this, too. And I would never have thought it was Jim Beam. Yeah, I know. It does not taste Jim Beamy. But I wanted to see. Um, one, because... Oh, God. It doesn't taste 108 proof. This thing tastes no. 90 proof. It tastes 90 proof and old. That... I... First of all, I wanted to try these side by side because the the single barrel to me in this iteration felt like it was the replacement for the distiller's cut, even though it, it, it really is not because the distiller's cut was limited edition. The single barrel is now, you know, the new version of the the single barrel. It replaced the older one. It's the more affordable one now, too. Back then, it was like $45, $50, something like that. This is $25. <laughs> I don't know the age on it. It drinks like it's six years old. It drinks older than Or me. eight. I think or it's something. 10. I thought it was 10 years old. I mean, it, it's this is a phenomenal bottle of bourbon. $25. $25. Fuck me, man. I think Jim Beam right now might be doing the most <laughs> on the bourbon market. And that is coming from somebody who is just a Heaven Hill stand through and through. Like, honestly, I think Jim Beam is just killing it I, with I, their affordable releases. Right now, the mood I'm in, I would take this over any of my Knob Creek picks right now. Kind of feeling the same way, dude. Yeah. yeah. Um, even at the proof, mm -hmm. at 108, you know? Um, like, I, 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 it's been five minutes since I took a drink of it, and I still am feeling the full effects of the finish. It's delicious. Yeah. It's so buttery. Um, mm. But yeah, I wanted to see how they kind of stacked up against each other. Look at how cloudy, by the way, um, the distiller's cut is. I mean, it's, it's non-chill filtered. It's got this... Maybe it was my angle. I don't know. Um, it it always had this kind of like mystique around it. Mystique for me, like just kind of popped out of nowhere. And and he, and back then, again, I loved it. I still think this is a great bourbon. Yeah. Um, the fact that I was able to stumble across a couple <laughs> bottles of it. I think this is a good example of something that. <sighs> You're going to hate me because I say this. I hate saying it out loud. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to judge you until you say it. If you're looking for stuff and you are thinking, oh, I'm in a store. Maybe they'll have something old. Maybe they'll have something discontinued. Yeah. This is probably one that somebody would say and post a picture of and say, if you know. You know. you know, yeah, because it's not something that I think somebody normally I, would be scrolling I, through the I know the shelves and be like, "Holy!" I like, mean, I kind I kind of have to agree with you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm being fun. If you know, you know. But like, it really is something that you would easily overlook. It's not one of those. It's not like you're. Oh, there's a dusty like ancient age, or there's a old this or that like. You you probably got to be looking and recognize the stiller's cut to be like holy shit you know it's still yeah. there so if you know you know 
but actually having them next to each other. Um, you know, I was, I was always of the opinion that, and I mean, yeah, this is a single barrel, but I have had multiple great Jim Beam single barrels. I only want that one. <laughs> Fair enough. But again, like it's been hit after hit after hit. I've not had one of these yet where I've been like, I don't know if I can drink this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> actually putting them side by side. I'm not as upset about this in the way that I thought I once was. And again, it's not actually replacing the distiller's cut in the way. It's in the same bottle. I know, but every Jim Beam product, I guess aside from the regular one now, Right? Oh, great. Like the actual Jim Beam line. Do you mean Watts in that one? No, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Like all of the, you know, little, little Jim Beam little, collection. Little special one. Yeah, it's in it's in like this. Seven years in that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's upstairs. He's going to look. <laughs> Dude. What we, so that's another one, too. Like seven year is. One into what we've been drinking, I'll tell you. <laughs> all right fine what have you been drinking recently jimmy black man yeah dude i've been drinking some too god i got a new bottle the other day. <laughs> didn't even bring it downstairs <laughs> save my steps save me the effort from coming down here been you didn't you didn't kill off any calories by no, bringing it downstairs no. you're just like ah, i'm gonna it's, Kept it up i'm worth it <laughs> more more of the country light on uh sunday football and jim Beam black seven year man um, I did, uh, have some, uh, mixtures barrel strength. I saw your, uh, yeah, your 69 in. Um, are you going to clip the one that we did? Yes. And put it out? Okay. But I didn't want to, okay. You didn't want to do it immediately? I didn't want to do it immediately. I know this is probably weird. Like, why won't you go and do it? I didn't want to feel like I was spoiling anything from the show. That's fair. So I wanted to use it at a different time so we could just do a random, like, here's yeah, yeah, yeah. a 10-bit yeah. thing. Because maybe people had listened. They're like, I like oh. That. I like the cross-promotion. I think it's good. Yeah. It's cool. I just didn't want to do spoilers. Y'all know how I feel about spoilers. Mm -hmm. I will let you try the Mictors because it's really good. Yeah, please. Um, I don't know if you want it now or later. No, let's wait because I've got, I've got another, like, post-review pour um, for you as well. So, yeah. But actually, I want to try alongside. Some Country Lot. I made some... Country Light Wings. I brined my chicken wings in Country Light. <sighs> Country Boy. Um, shout out to Country Boy. My favorite beer. Y'all, I know that I'm not... <laughs> not doing, a sponsor. I'm not a sponsor. I'm not getting all fancy with these stouts and stuff. I've not even had any 450 in a while. Country Boy Light. My favorite light beer right now. Doing good stuff here in Lexington, Georgetown. We've got a 450 episode that we need to do. I'm always, I mean, we haven't even opened them. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I was talking about it on my live stream last night yeah. that we need to we need to do, do a whole 450 thing. episode. Just beers and... Beer. What if we saved it until we did episode 450? <laughs> People are like, what is this? We've got, that would be two years from now before those, we actually be got to it. For three years. Yeah, that's insane. All right, we need to... Do, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm about to go on a month long hiatus. Yeah. We need to, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else? I had, um, oh, some early tips and bits if you are in Frankfurt. I don't know if you've been here. I go there not. once a week. I know you do. And you may have, I gotta make sure I'm saying this right. Um, so yesterday, uh, had volleyball in Frankfurt. They're playing, um, Franklin County. And before some of the parents, we went to um, Mama Monchita's. I've never been there. Okay. I'm going to be 100% honest right now. Food sucked? No. Oh, okay. Really good. Oh, okay. No, I'm recommending this place. Oh, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to. I thought you, I thought there was going to be like a food sucked, but the cocktails were no, good no, kind no, of no, deal. No. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm just saying, I'm being transparent and. Being honest and showing my ignorance. Oh, okay. Because okay, one for one thing, this restaurant you got to like go behind, like through the neighborhoods and back. It's not just on like a strip in like Frankfurt. Yeah, sure. You got to get there. Um, I get there, 
And uh, me and uh, one of the dads were like, let's, let's get a margarita. I was like, I'm down for a margarita. Um, I'm looking, looking at the food. Everything looks good. I 100% am thinking this is a Mexican restaurant. And 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 I'm like, this this stuff doesn't, some of the stuff doesn't sound like what I usually see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're oh, they're margaritas. Okay. They're all this stuff, and I'm like, okay. Oh, why is this different? I'm like, I'm intrigued. Because like, it's not Mexican. Because it's not a Mexican restaurant. When I got the text that say, "Hey, some of us are meeting at this place," I immediately thought this was a Mexican restaurant, and that is my ignorance. This is actually a taste of Honduras. Honduras, and it's it's mommy. Mommy. Mommy Monchitas. Mommy Monchitas, a taste of Honduras. Oh, dude, I am about this. Dude, you have to go. <laughs> I want to go so badly now. The margarita was amazing. April had the grilled chicken, like, and they had, like, beans and all this stuff. The not, you can get plantains. Um, I had the shredded chicken sandwich. Yeah. Read the shredded chicken sandwich. It's on sandwiches. Our traditional Honduran chicken sandwiches prepared with savory shredded chicken, our secret Honduran dressing, lettuce and tomatoes on toasted white bread, served with fries or sweet potatoes. Whatever fries. that secret dressing is. Yeah. Blew my balls off. Oh. Look at all that. And yeah, I, 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 I thought we were going to a Mexican restaurant. Oh, chicken carnitas. Dude. Pollo con tajadas. Tips and bits. I'm doing um I'm I'm doing a uh, um when uh Keenan does uh David Ortiz yeah. on SNL. Oh. <laughs> we got chicken carnitas, pollo con tajadas, we're about to Honduras. <laughs> Dude, you gotta go. I'm I am seriously go. I am so down. If you guys are this. visiting Buffalo Trace or something close to, you know, one of the distilleries, oh, go there. Oh, jalapeno shrimp and white wine sauce. It was so good. And some of the friends we were sharing stuff, like the nachos and the plantains. Oh my God, I'm hungry right now thinking about it. Come on, ajo. So, <laughs> yes. The, the margarita on rocks was amazing. Dude, I have been, uh, again, early tips and bits, but I have been in a mood for not. Uh, exquisite or not not exquisite um like non american food i guess i've been in a mood for not for, the same old thing yeah like there there's a um we have one place in in lexington that you can doordash turkish food from and really? it is a <laughs> It's a food truck on Winchester Road. Oh, I know the one. I passed it. Allah Turka Kebab yeah, House. Allah. I have ordered from them like four times over the past month. Every single time, it is exactly what I want. It is perfect every single time. I mean, just incredible. I got it last night for you know dinner. What I DoorDash the most. What? Big Kahuna. Oh, I love Big Dude. <laughs> dude. At work. At least once a week, I'm door dashing. Big, big Kahuna, Kahuna oh. is incredible. All right. I'm sorry we're doing tips and bits early. Food tips and bits. Food tips and bits. Foodies. Big Kahuna is one of the best restaurants in <laughs> Lexington. I don't even know if... Look, Don Nishida, next time that you are here... Uh, Don be like... Eh, that's okay. my problem, is that I'm worried that it's Don not authentic it. enough. That's why I want him to go there. Because I'm worried that it is not authentic Hawaiian food enough, and he's gonna be like, "No, this this isn't it." They have spam. I know that they do. They, I've had their spam masubi. Yeah, I've too. and it's it's really good. Yeah. but I'm just I want I'm him to really try the, the macaroni salad. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I think I kind of had... don't want him to because I don't want to <laughs> feel bad about it. I just want to know, like, if it's if it's up to snuff, and I want him to be honest about it too. Oh, that's true. But anyway, the the kebab house, like, I always get a, a chicken donor. Donair. You get a donor? Donor. Damn. Boner donor. Boner donor? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even your kid. <laughs> I always get a chicken donair. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what I've been doing recently, though, is 
Double chicken. Double chicken. I don't I don't like onions, like raw onions. Me either. Um so I'll do no onions and I'll add olives. I know you don't like olives. Ugh, I don't like I know that you don't like olives. I don't like it olives. But if you don't do it with olives, I mean it's still incredible. Um it comes with a side of fries. Okay. And then I'll do like an appetizer of um hummus mm. with it. And oh. it is spectacular. Um I got baklava, baklava. last week. I have two, two uh, three and, of those shoes. Um <laughs> <laughs> anyway um what have you been drinking what have i been drinking um well i'll tell you this this is kind of like what i've been drinking and also what has been going on with me um where i've been setting up the studio you've been finding some old stuff haven't you no not uh, necessarily um yeah. i did so i i Part of like getting stuff for the the baby room ready, I guess the nursery is what you would call that. The baby room. The baby room. It's the baby. Room. That sounds like a making baby room. Yeah, let's go to the baby. Um, was going to my grandparents' house and making a baby to get stuff and making baby there. Okay. No. I don't want to talk about that. Very. Mm, mm, no. Anyway, Did uh, you I'm make gonna, a baby in here. I'm gonna ask you. As a good friend, for us to please move on from this topic okay, of conversation. Okay, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I so most of my whiskey is there. Yeah, right. Um, every time that I'm there, I I like to bring you know like a bag or a box or whatever home with me. Right. Um, of just you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, I know, right? And I still yeah, have, have I still have a lot there. Um, so much so that like the cabinet got filled up. And most of that was just stuff that I collected when we moved into this house, like right. over the past year since we moved in, right? I've talked about this before. I had to buy shelving for the studio, for the office, um, so that I had more places to put right, right. <laughs> the rest of it. I haven't yet collected all the other boxes of That's stuff. a lot of whiskey. It's guys. a lot. Like, it, I'm telling you, you listening, you watching... Yeah. You may think it's a random trip here and there. Like, he has been over there a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot of it's going to go behind the bar. A lot of it's going to go on that shelf. Um, <clears throat> I'm more than likely going to have to get another shelf or something. Like, that's just the reality of it. Anyway, all that aside, um, I went and I grabbed a um, couple of different bottles. Um, found the two Orphan Barrel bottles that i have gifted horse What's a what? and barter house barter house yeah i yeah. love that one um i had a I, I grabbed a random um buffalo trace pick that i hadn't had in a while i say random it's really not random it was from travis gents it was a texas oh, yeah, texas yeah. whiskey consortium short yeah, barrel the only good texas whiskey ever <laughs> From Kentucky. Yeah. It was a pick they yeah. did. Yeah. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal pick. Um, just a couple other little bits and bobs here and there. Um, but also, I uh, I was like, you know, I've got this extra little space. You know, it'd be really great down here is a mini fridge so I can put beer, beer. in here. Yeah. So I've got a beer fridge now nice. in the office. Um, and you know, we'd only have so much storage space in the, the fridge upstairs and I just needed to move the beer that was in the fridge upstairs down to that fridge. So, um, speaking of country boy, <laughs> I've been enjoying, and I think I mentioned this last week as well, their Oktoberfest mm -hmm. as well. It's not like blow your balls off good. Or anything. Country it's not Boy like a super odd. Uh, it's solid. It is solid. Through. Yeah. It's not like a, an incredibly authentic Oktoberfest. Like it, I, I am just weird about this. I don't mean to be like, everything has to be like true to form. I really do enjoy like a very authentic Oktoberfest beer, like imported from Germany kind of deal. But uh, there is something about the, <laughs> the country boy. Oktoberfest, where I'm like, this gets the job done. Like, I have no problem with it being a little bit country fest. left of center. You know? Yeah, yeah, no. Country it, fest. 
Is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I love my cougar bait, and now I love my country <laughs> life. Don't ask me about Oktoberfest. I don't remember what it's called. But um, Country Fest would be an amazing... Yeah. Let me write that. But so after I after I got back from... Because uh, I sent you a um, text. I, I was sitting out on the front porch uh, after I got done doing my little hunting and mm-hmm. I got done working in the studio and getting some other stuff done around the house. Um, I put the, uh, I put the country boy Oktoberfest up against the Jim Beam dis- distillers cut. I almost said distillers reserve. I don't know why. Um, with the, yeah, I put it with the it's country boy Oktoberfest and I also put it with an, uh, a BHG Elijah Craig pick, not barrel proof. I was going to say just the 94, 94 proof one. from, I don't know, 2019, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they just call it Oktoberfest, like, German style yeah, yeah, yeah. lager. Lager. Country Fest, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm it was right there. A- I want, I want to see if I can get that done. Yeah. Well, I got another bottle that I picked up from uh, my grandparents' house that we'll pour later, too. So. Review time. Well, you don't seem very excited about this. Well, if you've been listening... We, we just had two great Jim Beam products. I know. Let me finish. Um, Sorry. It's okay. We reviewed <laughs> a the new rye from Knob Creek. How yeah, many the, years the was it? Ten-year ten rye. Ten-year rye. Yeah. Was not happy with it. I didn't think it needed to be a thing. Um, and I'm trying to be more positive about everything, but like, I, I genuinely did not like that. So I'm hoping this review brings me back, but Knob Creek Rye, you've hurt me. Right. But this is the Knob Creek Boo Rye. You my little Boo Rye. You my little, <laughs> you my, you my little Boo Rye. Or the Bourbon X Rye or whatever you want to call it. The Bourbon it. Straight Edge Rye. <laughs> Um, I love it. We'll see. We'll see how it happens. 113 proof. Were you ever straight edge? No. I guess I technically I mean, was. when I was like five. <laughs> you never like made the, the no. decision to I, be straight I have edge. a friend on Facebook that is still straight edge, and they put it in my face all the time. Oh. Even caffeine. Oh. Yeah. Caffeine's a drug. This caffeine. You, oh, you, okay. Never mind. I was never straight edge. <laughs> if you're truly straight edge, caffeine's a drug. So I'm just saying. He was always cool with me too. We had, but he always let me know. He's straight edge. Anyway. Yuck. Sorry. <laughs> that, that just kind of came out of my soul. <laughs> yeah. Yuck. Yeah. <laughs> I can pull up the, no, the I don't want Facebook to. message. I don't want to. Know. Please leave it leave it alone. I think I will. Anyway, this is a uh, <laughs> blend of 30% nine-year-old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey and 70% seven-year-old Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Okay. So it's mostly the rye. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I'm having a hard time finding out exactly what MSRP is. The lowest I've seen is $35, but I'm seeing most places selling it for like $45. What'd you pay? Like $50, $55? 50 Yeah. I'll just say 50 Yeah. I think that's a good in-between. Once again, I'm not as nervous this? about this. I, I don't know. I'm not upset about the fact that there's a boo rye on the market that's pretty readily available. I like the nose. <laughs> I think the nose is really good. I'm not mad at this. This this nose honestly kind of smells like the 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 one that we blended on uh, the nose on the floor. is very full. Yeah, it's not flat. I'll Might be, be a little bit perfumey. I'll be honest. It kind of just smells it. <laughs> if you could do it, <laughs> if you could say this smells like a bourbon and a rye whiskey, this is what it smells like. Yeah. There's a little bit of sweet cornbread. 
on the nose. I see that. Is it weird if I say soy sauce? Let me try to find it. I see what you're saying. It's almost like a stouty, a stouty yeah. type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at it. It doesn't like punch me in the face with the soy sauce, but I tend to get it every time I go back. I'm not mad at the nose. I'm okay. I was talking on something. I don't remember if I was in like a live stream chat or I was live streaming. Where am I? <laughs> Who am I? Is this the matrix? Um, and somebody was talking about getting the soy sauce note on uh, stouts. And I was like, yeah, I never would have thought about it until my co-host <laughs> soy brought sauce, it up. Man. But I mean, it, it's there. After we're done reviewing this, I'm going to critique something. Okay. I don't want to get into it right now. Do you think, do you have a Knob Creek or I? I may have a pick over there. I don't know if it's opened. Well, if it's not open, I'm not asking you to do that. It may be like an old Mary Kay pick. Oh. oh. Something I would say for a special case. Yeah, yeah. That's us. definitely you not something I would ask you to yeah. open. No, I don't think I have. I mean, I prop. Do I have anything beam raw over there? I don't think I do, honestly. I'm sure there's something. I mean, I got my Booker's Rye over there. I'm just playing. Yeah, sure do you not, do. I do not have sure that. Sure you do. <laughs> you imagine if I was like, yeah, I just got the Booker's Rye. <laughs> that you've hidden from me yeah. for the past We've never drank three it years. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't think I have like a, unless there's a pick over there. Hold on. Perfect. We can open them. <laughs> the freaking wax is horrible. I got a knife. Anyway, so we have, we have essentially single barrel. I mean, look, this is a small batch, two single barrels. That makes a small batch, right? Sure. So we'll try to see if we can recreate this. We won't Super do that small yet. Batch. Yeah, we won't do that yet. We got to try this first, and then we'll get to it. But All right. regardless, cheers. Oh. I like it. That's pretty good. I think... <laughs> I, I think it's really good, man. You know when you're ready to just full-blown <laughs> hate, hate, hate something? something? Yeah. yeah. I can't. Dude, that... I can't hate it. That's for sure. It's creamy. It's got a spice midway through the palate that kind of continues on to the finish. It kind of reminds me of a Three Musketeers. I could see that. Like a nougat. Yeah, it is very nougaty. I do get the spice. Um, but initially it reminds me of a three musketeers. That's pretty good. I like that. I wanted to not like it, I'll be honest, because I was so mad about that rye, that 10 year rye. But I'm not mad at this. No. I'll tell you what I am mad about. It's got Jim Beam nuttiness to it as well. I mean, like there is a predominant peanut butter note to it that I, I like with everything else going on around it there's a mint thing going on too that i love i it, it is a very complex layered palette that yeah. i think is fantastic sorry i cut you off i no, had to, I had, I had no, to no, get no. it Keep out going. so i didn't get it I all did. out get it all out i mean the finish is the finish probably is the weakest part of this it's a it's, little it's bit not, short there's not a big finish no but i mean it's still but there the it, it's palette is the finish is kind of like a mint bouquet you know, like it, it's just kind of like if you had. Did you say the wrong thing? What do you mean? Mint bouquet? Were, are you just cutting that word off? You're not saying the whole word? Mint bouquet? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Like like a flower bouquet. Oh, I was my head. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. I know we did, but I'm talking about like if you had, I get you know, now. like a flower bouquet, but mint. Okay. Like it's just kind of like. A presentation of mint, yeah, yeah. like that's just where I'm. I'm yeah, at with I get it. a little bit you of know? mint. Like it's uh, that Three Musketeers up front. I is see really that for good. sure. It's yeah, really good. What's your complaint about this? 
the presentation? So I don't have a regular Knob Creek. So on the label, it puts what they think the notes are right here on the right front smack dab on the I don't like that. Yeah, that's really strange. It says uh, it's a it's above the the proof whereas normally it would be maybe on the side or Yeah. Side. Notes of vanilla, caramel and pepper. Like I could see that, but I don't uh, That's a back label thing for yeah, me. Yeah. That makes me like it remind if I was I'm going to try to if you can see it. That almost looks like it's a pick and you're like putting like the pick people's like group or the restaurant or something. Cause just like, like this Knob Creek pick right here, it's got that. I don't know. I don't like that. They put their notes right smack dab on the front of the thing. Now, is that probably some kind of marketing? Yes, I get it. No, it, but it, but it is, I, I, I think I'd, Coming at this from a graphic designer's <laughs> position, it is a mess. <laughs> this this label overall is a it really is all over the place. I mean, here I'm gonna I'm gonna send this to. I will send this to Curtis and Tanner. Oh jeez, the OGs. Oh jeez. And see if they they. I don't agree even like us. the way the the thing like the green blends up into the Knob Creek part. It looks messed up. Jimmy, I love you. This is delicious. I'm glad that this is way better than the ten year old rye. But yeah, we got to figure out this label here. It's good. I'm just no. I think I think the liquid inside is fantastic. They, we don't have a rating is... system for the the label, <laughs> but I'm going to say what I feel. And I immediately looked at this and was like, "Why did they throw the bold letters of the notes on there? Three notes: vanilla, caramel, pepper." I mean, maybe if you're just trying to get somebody to buy it and they like that, I don't know. Either way, I know we're not judging that, but. I mean, it's it's just not a good it's just not a good label. But you know, I, I I did start this podcast with two other graphic designers, so I can. It's gonna get brought. Stick, man. <laughs> it's gonna get brought up eventually. Well, Curtis and Tanner aren't getting back to me right now, so we'll we'll see what they say. Either way, I'm trying to get them back on the podcast for an episode too, just to have a little reunion special with you as well. I need to be on there. Yeah. Oh, no, of course. Swan's getting back on soon. I mean, I won't be Swan's on Swan's in that, trouble. He's in trouble? What do you mean? Yeah, I got to get him out of jail for this. Okay. Yeah, oh. he did some bad stuff. I got to... All right. All right. I, I put up his parole so he could get on the podcast. All right. Fair enough. He's a bad boy. Fair enough. He's a bad boy for All right. life. Well, tune in uh, in a couple of weeks when Swan is on for y'all to understand what's Straight happening. Straight out of jail. But, Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we should go ahead and review this. Let's Nose palette finish and price is our review system. Each category is out of five. We give a final score out of 20. What are you thinking about on the nose here, Eric? The nose, I like it because it's weird. I'm not a big fan of stout soy sauce noses, um, but it's interesting. I give it a three. Good. Straight down the middle. If you like something weird, you're going to like it. If you like maybe stout beers, um, something interesting, you're going to like it. Yeah, right down the middle, three. It's a 3.5 for me. Okay. You um, like stout um, beers? I do. And I think that when when you're considering this being somewhere in that weird in-between of bourbon and rye. Right. It is very much towing the line between the two. It's not fighting for one place or another. I, I do think that, well, it, it might be a little bit more ride characteristic. But at the same time, I'm not feeling like this is like, it's its own creature. Yeah. I mean, it is definitely its own thing. Based on that, um, 
I'm I'm really enjoying what's happening on the nose. It's inviting. It's pleasant. Um, I might like a little bit more um, of a a sweetness maybe to it. Um, a little bit more oakiness yeah. on the nose. That's a personal thing. Um, so three point five for me. Um, palette. <laughs> I think palette's great, dude. I love it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a four. I'm a four as well. Uh, like, I I keep I keep kind of like thinking about this and getting excited about drinking yeah. it. Like four yeah, all day. Uh, oh my gosh, this is. And I know that. So here's here's the funny thing about this. There is a place in my brain where I'm I'm between I, I'm of two minds. One, I I'm thinking, well, I could buy two picks of Knob Creek and I could do this at home, right? The other part of my brain is going, well, they did it for me. Yeah. You know, at basically less than half the cost. And on that note, like I it, it it's it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a problem with it in the slightest that they have not only done the work for me, but they've probably done it better than I could have because they are experts I mean, at crafting whiskey. You know, like whiskey. I mean, it, yeah. I'm an idiot with a microphone talking about the bourbon that I'm I, an but... idiot. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little boy, idiot. <laughs> I'm a little idiot. The and I bought a boo ride for uh -huh. you to listen to me talk about it. Anyway, um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it, I'm it, the same on the palate. Like, yeah, but it 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 genuinely tastes amazing. Yeah, I love um, it. the finish I I think is it's right down the middle for me. I don't think there's anything displeasing about it, but it it does go fairly quickly off. I I think it's a little bit one note, um, but it, you know I I still think I think it's good. And what do you what are you giving the two point five? I'm giving it a two point five as well. Yeah, yeah, fifty bucks though. I think it's pretty solid, man. 3.5. Now, I was hoping my score would be a 13 because it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> but I gave it a 3. I'm, it I'm between like a 3.5 and a 4. Made it a 12.5. I don't know. Like, uh, this is a 100 proof. No, it's not 100 it's proof. It's 113 proof. 113 proof. Appropriate. Hey! Okay. Friday the 13th. <sighs> What? But you said some people had it for thirty five. Yeah, but I, I saw that only in like one place. If this was thirty five, it'd be a four to a five. Predominantly, I've seen it at forty five dollars. All right. Whatever it took to get it to a thirteen out of twenty, that's what I give it. What is it? Three point five. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty. This is pretty good. And it's above a uh, hundred proof. <laughs> one thirteen. This is pretty solid. Like I won't I lie. Mean, like, age I, stated there's it, not much I can say about it. It yeah, it tells it's you seven age, years old. It's pretty solid. I I think I'm gonna, out of twenty. I think I'm gonna give it a four, honestly, on the price. Okay. So I am at shoot, I'm at a fourteen out of twenty. There you go. I mean, this is this is a really solid whiskey. Like I even just kind of like on the experience alone, I'm feeling pretty strongly about this. I mean, it, it, if if I had to rank things that I have, and again, we're approaching the end of the year. If I had to rank things based on, you know, how I feel about them at this point, um, this might sit at like a number 10 for me right now. Good thing we don't rank the label. No. Okay. <laughs> But the label's like a, uh, I don't know, like a three out of 20? No, no, it's just weird. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's not great. Uh, it's not great. But anyway, um, I got a, I got something I want to pour for you. Okay. See what you, you also have the Michter's barrel strength. I do. Do you want too. to pour that for you and you pour the other thing for me? Well, I got, I mean, I want to try the pour I have. No, you can't. Okay, that's fine. Sorry. It's the rules. For me, for you. Mm. That's the rules. 
No, you I'm know just, what? I'm that's just fine. playing. Actually, no, that's fine. No, because... it's just a joke. I think that's an in- interesting uh, segment. Poor me, poor you. Poor me, poor you. Post. Uh, I really was. Post review. I was trying to be just. Funny. I like it. Okay. I like me... it. Let's do that from now on. Okay. Okay. Post review. Post review. Poor me, poor you. Let me. I'm gonna get it. You set us up. I gotta get Dash off the bus. Get him settled. I'll be back down. Okay. What happened? Okay, so um, <laughs> in a matter of five minutes. So do you want to know something funny too? Is not even two minutes before I uh, this happened. I'll tell you what this is in a second. I said to Patreon, we're gonna take a little break because I was out of stuff to say to Patreon. But if you're watching the video version, you are realizing that our setup looks significantly different from the way that it normally looks. Um. We are currently in the middle of, I guess, what is a blackout. <laughs> the power's out. The power's in, in out. The whole neighborhood here. Yeah, it's very, very strange. I checked <laughs> my bill because I immediately started sweating. You, you paid it. <laughs> Did I forget to pay my power bill? <laughs> no, it's paid. There's nothing due. It says past due nothing. Next bill due whatever <laughs> October something. October of next year, probably. October third. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, but we're recording in the dark. It's Ooh, I like it. hey, I don't mind. Um, we're running off of. I mean, the camera's still going because it's on battery. Um, we've got a we got a battery powered <laughs> light. Don't know how long it's gonna last. It might not go the whole time. So might not. We'll figure it out. Um, you poured something for us before I took the break. To I I poured something for you. An unmarked bottle. Yes. And I poured the Michters for myself that, um... <laughs> See if that's focusing on. There you go. <laughs> so, poor me, poor you. Poor me, poor you. Our new segment. Neither one of us have money. Okay, dude. Did you pour me the same thing? That was poured? No. Because this smells delicious. And I know... I know this that also Mich- smells amazing. I know. It reminds me of that. The, what do you this, pour me smells like a freaking like mm, it's like a <laughs> cherry turnover a old whiskey dusty whiskey that tastes like a cherry dude turnover. yours smells dusty too I know I'm telling you they smell the same wait hang on I just had this the other day it smells similar. That's weird. Yeah. I think they are different, but they do smell they're, they're, remarkably they're definitely similar. They're cousins. Yeah. Oh, God. Do I have some of these things? They're not the same, because I had a little bit of a pour of this. Mm. While you were getting your kiddo off the bus. Mm -hmm. Oh, that smells good. This is tamer than the Michter's is. It doesn't doesn't take away from it. No. They smell similar. This. I grabbed it like I was going to read something. That's my infinity bottle. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. You got the app. Apparently, there's an no, app. No, I don't have Early the app. Early tips and bits. Apparently, there's an app for your Infinity um, Bottle. I know we always don't do whisker-related things, but I just found out that there's an app for your Infinity Bottle that you can put it in, and it will like calculate the like percentages and the proof. Did not know that, so I guess you'll have to start over if you're going to do that. I, I think I this will. This is delicious. This is the Infinity Bottle that I started way back in, like... 2017, 2018. Was it was an old granddad bottle oh, of yeah, bottle. I was gonna say. Yeah. I like this. Um well this I, is not an infinity bottle. No, it's just Mictor's barrel strength. Yeah. I just <laughs> 110.2 proof. It's so good. But you're right, it is very, very similar to my infinity bottle, yeah. which is it smells just like it. Bizarre. Yeah. I mean they could definitely be cousins. I'll even 
pour a little bit more for myself just to Interesting. compare side by That's side. Crazy. But anyway, um, yeah, I want I wanted you to try this too. So I even like <clears throat> worked on putting some more stuff in this yesterday because it was low, and I had ooh buddy, ooh buddy, some bottles that needed to be killed off. Oh, that smells good. And uh, what's the last thing you put in that? The very last thing. Yeah. Ooh, the very last thing was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C918. I can see that. <laughs> C918 was the I last can thing see that went that. into it. It's got some snickerdoodle Dude, it's going crazy on. how similar these are. On the nose, it's I mean, crazy. Here, okay, so here's the Mictors. It's like this one's they, a little bit darker than this Yeah. One. It's like, you would almost think that they were the same, like, line. Or like one was a single barrel of the other. That's bananas. Single barrel and a small batch. Yeah. Because the barrel strength are batched, I believe. No? Barrel. It's single barrel. Yeah. So what I'm kind of proposing with my... And that wouldn't be a small batch because you put a bunch of different things in there. Yeah. What I'm proposing with this Infinity Bottle we is... sell it. For charity. For us. For profit. <laughs> Our charity. <laughs> so we can turn the electricity back on in your so house. So I can get power back to my house. <laughs> um, We, just for like us and friends, um, keep putting stuff in here. We don't have to keep track of it. It's just, you know, an ever-changing bottle. Um, But... 10-bip infinity. Ten bip infinity, man. Okay. Um, but Eternals. I'll I'll keep uh I'll keep my own, you know, infinity bottle where I actually keep track of it and make sure I know what's you know, that's what's going I've into really it. Never done. An infinity bottle? I should. Yeah, definitely. I guess I gotta get the app. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. High proof hot takes? Do you have any? Hot takes. No. I kinda talked about it on pregame chats. Um just be more empathetic towards people's I mean, time. yeah, just I think is a good way to summarize. There's that. always a point where like you want to hang out with people, but you really do have responsibilities. And just remember the way you reply to somebody can really affect somebody. If, if that makes sense. Yeah. If you can't do something. I understand. It's cool. Not a figure it out. I'll be here. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, tips and bits though. Oh, buddy. Been playing some Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> I love it so much, man. I, I love it. Normally, that. Perry's the one that's doing the retro gaming, but... I, lo- I love this with all my heart. It just makes me so happy. Your boy got this. his 3DS. He found the charger. He put it back up. Found some games on the system, but realized, hey, I can find... I can play games from a regular DS, which was before the 3DS, and I said, I want to play the games that I love, and I've been playing some, and one of them is in my top 10 games of all time. Dang. Yes, all time. So, if you don't know what a 2DS is or a 3DS, it's the Game Boy that had two screens, and you can use a stylus. Mm -hmm. Now, in my opinion, any DS game is basically a Game Boy game, whether or a Switch game. You got you got your handheld, you play the thing. Yeah. But what really makes it different is the stylus. If you can play a game that you're playing a game, but you're tapping and doing stuff, that's where it really comes into play. So there's two games that I recommend if you have a DS or a 3DS. One is Elite Beat Agents. It's basically like the Guitar Hero or the Dance Dance Revolution of the Nintendo. Yeah. These are these agents... You, you see a little anime story up here, and these people need help. And through the power of rhythm, you help them. So it's like your favorite songs, not sung by the normal people, but like, he was a skater boy. Says, but it's sung by somebody random, and you're like hitting it. It's the precursor to a trombone hero. Yeah, you hold it. But 
the goat is called trauma center. You're a <laughs> you're a young doctor who just graduated from his residen- you, res- you, residency. You being in the medical field, I am, oh I God. love the fact that this is something and the fact that, that your yeah. assistant who's talking to you is a nurse, and I'm like, okay, I'm the nurse, but also I'm getting your, I'm playing the part of the doctor, and she's giving him shit. Like, <laughs> what are you doing right now? That was me. Doctor, what are you doing right now? But you take the stylus and you have to perform a surgery and you have to do everything from disinfecting the area to making the incision to bringing out the tumor, different things, stitching it up. I'm between the story and like the doctor is like, let's go. Like before his (laughs) surgery is so anime, super anime, style. super anime. It is so fun. And like, it's a lot. There's a ton of levels. Trauma center is one of my all time favorite games. And I have not played that in 10, 15 years. Dang. So did you like have a copy and you lost it? I had a copy and what you do when you don't have a lot of money, you trade up to different things. Yeah. 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 So as I was in high school, college, I just traded up everything. Anything that I have that is retro, I probably bought. Yeah. Because normally I just traded it up. Yeah. Like my Xboxes, Playstations, I just traded them all up. Now, get on eBay, found it. Um, Luckily, I just kept my 3DS. um, And I just bought the game on eBay. um, And everything worked. Done fine. Erased the previous owner's. Yeah. Game. I did not want to. I got no problem with that, man. You know? But yeah. Screw them. They sold it for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so, Elite Beat Agents and Trauma Center on 3DS. Use a stylus. You're dancing. You're performing surgery. I, I've had so much fun the past week with it, and I'm going to keep playing. Yeah. So, um, I got a couple. Couple. First of all, um, I. So. One of the things that I have been trying to regulate while I regulate us dealing with the <laughs> dealing with the whole weight loss thing is what do I snack on when I'm hungry? Dude, I struggle with that all the time. It's it's really, really tough. And this sounds like an ad. I promise you it's not. Um one of my favorite things to snack on is beef jerky. Mm-hmm. Oh, I agree. Um, And the most recent discovery I have had with beef jerky has been No Man's Land. Okay. Um, It's the most high-protein beef jerky that I've found. And I've just found it at, like, Speedway. Their black pepper beef jerky is... Fan, not really. Okay. Um, it it's got just enough of a kick to add extra flavor, okay. but it's it's very satisfying. And like one bag, it, this really sounds like I'm doing an ad read. I promise you, I am not. Um, sponsored one, by Nomad. <laughs> no man's. No man's. No man's land. Beach no jerky. man's land. <laughs> I'll get out of it, Julie. Yeah, well, th- I, I would love to be sponsored by them. I think they're beef jerky. I would love to do- be sponsored by any snack. No, I would, too. You like- know what else I like? Flavored almonds. Oh. Like those habanero yeah, or yeah, like yeah, yeah, the yeah. sweetened barbecue and stuff like that. That's my... Beef jerky and almonds are my favorite go-to it's snack. great... Yeah, you remember pocket almonds yeah, from... Pocket that was almonds. A, that was one of uh, yeah, my favorite... When you're working out and doing stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. almonds and beef jerky, great snack. Well, we had a great, you know, reel or TikTok or whatever with Go see you it. eating pocket almonds. Uh, it was me just messing up the flow of everything. I no, it was... It. It I was... needed a snack and... <laughs> Pocket almonds. That was back when we let's like, just start that brand. Okay, pocket sure. almonds. Yeah, maybe that'll be how we have to record. You know, in the near future, and making a brand pocket almonds be awesome. Be awesome. Yeah. Nah, I've interrupted. I've anyway. We might have to record like that after baby time. Pocket almonds. No, the, like remotely for a little while. Why can't we? What do you mean? I mean, that sounds great. I'm yeah, just no, it's okay. I'm just telling we you. We have like, the power. Yeah, sure. Not right now. No, well, yeah. <laughs> the power is out. <laughs> we have the equipment. I don't do have the power. 
<laughs> I am not He Man today. Man, I really blew out the. Uh, anyway, um, no man land, no man's land beef no jerky. No man's land. Sure, whatever. Um, really, really good. Also, this is not a full endorsement of this. Uh, what I'm about to say, it, it's just been weird. And I, like the most recent issue has been, it was good. And I'm excited to see where it goes from here. But the newest uh, run of Batman 89, okay. um, Echoes is Echoes. What, it, Echoes. what it's called. Um I just want to see how far you would go. Um, I didn't do that. It's it's very strange. It's it's kind of just like a loose, like I I see I see the Tim Burton influence, the Tim Burton vision of it all. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It it also doesn't feel fully fleshed out in the way that it could have been okay. i don't know i i want more opinions on it more than anything so if you have either read it or you are planning on reading it please let me know um i'm i'm curious what more people think about it one way or another but uh anyway that that's a, that about an episode if you think the, about us please you should go to please patreon. do regularly you should go to patreon.com slash my in your weakest moments for as little as a dollar a month, you can support the show. But at five dollars, you get all the bonus stuff. Had a good therapy session for the boys, like I said earlier. Um, you also get bonus episodes for the boys. For the boys, you get Pop Chicka Wow Wow, where we open a new bottle, tell you about it, maybe make a few little things that about it that we can't say on live air. It's not live, but you know, <laughs> PG air. Uh, the main also, feed. Yeah, the main feed. I was just trying to spice it up a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sample irresistible. We open a sample of something that somebody sent us. Maybe we have sitting around. We talk about it. Also, pours from the floor where I try to finish bottles that are just multiplying up upon my uh, basement floor, and my wife gets mad because you trips over them. Um, you you tripped us, over something earlier, too. I did. I tripped over the. Uh, it looks like your dog cock. peed. Honestly. Um, is that what it's called? <laughs> No. What? I think it's called the Hot and Wild. Hot and Wild. Um, power went out. <laughs> it was dark. I tripped over it. There's stuff everywhere. Either way, tons of bonus stuff. You get this episode uncut. You can hear what we talked about when you when we went off there, when we took a break, all the stuff. You'll find out what happened in between all this when the power went out. Um, go to patreon.com, my burn podcast, support the show, get bonus stuff, just do it. Uh, you, hold on, get your mic right, come on now, dang, I like the way you work it, no diggity, I like to back it up, <laughs> you can also head to, uh, uh, I don't even know what it's called, Bourbon, bourbonshop.threadless.com, there you go, check out all of our apparel and merchandise, I do all of the uh, designing for stuff over there, uh, the, you're, check it out, yeah. I'm a, I'm, I'm a good graphic designer. You are. Thank you. You don't give you give yourself enough. Credit. I do. I do the design work for like this podcast. That's me, man. You know. They thought it was the producer. Yeah, the J- Jamie. Jamie, he does not do any of the designs. <laughs> no, he just looks stuff up and then we send him down to. Uh, yeah. Well, he shut the power off. Apparently. He did. Yeah, he was fed up with us and went. Then we found a way. Do you know the way? You can also uh, send us questions or comments or just general correspondence to this is my bourbon shop at gmail.com. You can uh, send us mail mm-hmm. or samples or bottles or Do that. anything to P.O. Box 22609, Lexington, Kentucky 40522. If you feel so inclined, of course, we do appreciate that. Um, you can find us on social media at my bourbon pod and at whiskey mutant. If you also want to follow me personally, I am at P Ritter seventeen ninety two. You're at like Smith dot Eric or something. I don't know. Yeah, something like that. You never post on there though. 
<laughs> I'm just fully whiskey mutant. <laughs> I've gone full mutant, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't posted on that forever. Um, I think that's about it. Oh. Rate and review the podcast on your podcast app of choice. If you do it on the Apple Podcast app, uh, we will read it out here on the, the, the podcast Anything itself. Helps. We appreciate it. It pushes us up in the Apple Podcast uh, it charts. I'm getting a call from Louisville, Kentucky on my work call phone line. Um, hey, it's Louisville. Drink some bourbon. Guess we got to go to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival. Oh, wait. That's right. We have adult responsibilities that we have to attend oh. to. <laughs> I mean, I want to be there. It's not like I don't. Anyway. That's good. <sighs> we will see you all next week. Um, that's going to be my last episode before baby break. You think so? Maybe. Until then, though. To be continued. Cut it off right now. I'm with you. Cut it off. Will he be back? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Timbip.